Okay, so, Chris, how are you feeling? Very good. Yeah. It's nice to be playing with Rihanna again, isn't oh, it? Oh, it's good. Oh, yeah, we used to do this a lot more, didn't we? Yeah, and we did. We I can't even remember how to play now. He tore us apart a little bit yeah. when he started getting bigger, no, uh, oh. other people Other on. people. Oh, yeah, once you got Gerald Butler on, I was off. Yeah. Don't be like that. Well, um, I mean, I'm no Christopher Mintz class, but I'll try. <laughs> There was just an influx of uh, a lot of guests at our disposal, so we, we <laughs> thought we should use them. But it's good to have you back on, Rihanna. Yes. Thanks. Great to be back. John in Cambridge is watching. Um, also, Michael in Glasgow. Dan from Cornwall watching for the first time. And so is James. Get online. Get to a computer. Get to your phone. Put it on the Radio 1 website. Watching it is so much better. OK, if you can remember how to, everybody, uh, fill your cheeks. Put water down there. Bro. Here we go again. Yeah, so you just put the water in your mouth, Rihanna. Oh. You've forgotten. Just pop it in. Oh, I just spat back out. Pop into it my in glass. there. Pop it in. Mm. Mm. And hopefully the water will pop out. <coughs> mm. <coughs> okay. Here we go then. Mm -hmm. First off, we're going to Inside Science on Radio Four. And it sounds like the presenter's taken a very detailed look round this laboratory. Thank you, Professor Andrea Seller, for showing us your magnificent instrument. <laughs> oh. oh, I'd forgotten what a oh. shock that was. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sharp intake of breath. Uh. Uh. Everyone all right? Yes. That water is so cold as well. Thank you to Esther for sending that one in. We really like it when you send in the bingos, by the way, so keep them coming in. Uh, send them to scott.mills at bbc.co.uk. Tell us what you heard, where you heard it, and roughly a time. And you get 250 points. Got your waters there ready? Mm -hmm. Very efficient. Now let's go over to the... <laughs> More water. Mm -hmm. Let's go over to the oval now. Mm-hmm. And once again, Test Match Special making an appearance on Inu and a Bingo. Aggers was brilliant last week. So good. Here's Henry Blofeld with some... <laughs> was that one? That, was no, that one? That's just his name. <laughs> Why is that right. his okay. name? <laughs> Chris was doing the dribbling thing and Rihanna was just like doing projectile. It's good. Test match special, Henry Blofeld here with some fond memories of the cricket club dinner. I went last year, Stephen Fry was in uh, Roger's box when I was there last year. Good going in spurts, aren't you? Sorry. Andy and Nottingham spotted that one, thank you. Oh, my mouth is so cold. <laughs> Hi, Ezra and Stonzo, heading away for some summer chillaxing. Watch him now for the first time. Vicky in Cambridge also watching for the first time. And Julie. Over now to the latest series of Alan Titchmarsh's brilliant series, Love Your Garden. Yeah. And I'm really looking forward to seeing if Alan can pull off this amazing transformation. You just go away for a bit and I'll have a fiddle. And when you come back, I'll have three balls. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good trick. I'll have three balls. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone all right? Yep. Yeah. Good old Titchmarsh. Mm. Mm. Now we're going over to Daybreak. And Kate Garraway, who seems to have some funny ideas about what goes on at an air show. You know, we've got the air show again today. It is a lot better than what people let on. And I'm sure there's a lot of people there working very hard to, to, to get it up. <laughs> 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 Oh. You're right, Rihanna. I'm so wet. There's a puddle. It's kind of like you've forgotten that that, that happens. Um, it oh, wow. Is. Working very hard to, to, to get it up. Sophie and Sam <laughs> both emailed that one to us. Scott.mills at bbc.co.uk if you've got one. Next to last week's... <laughs> I didn't realise it took such hard work. <laughs> <laughs> Next to last week's... Hairy Bikers Coal Mining Special. And the bikers... <laughs> right, Chris? Mm. Do, no, do want to see this? <laughs> He's going to go. Any mm. sec. Mm. It's the Hairy Bikers Coal Mining Special. Mm. 
And that's quite a special, it's isn't like. it? A whole hour of it. Mm. And the bikers are very excited about getting to work on this old girl. <laughs> <laughs> what is going on? Riddle kicks just <laughs> Hi, Riddle kicks. Hello. Hello. Hi. 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 They played this a couple of weeks ago. Oh, look, there's Harley. Yeah. I went to school with Harley. I know. Mm. Right, concentrate. Mm -hmm. Hey, bikers. Call morning special again. And the... Bikers are very excited about getting to work on this old girl. She worked until the 1920s, and except for one run out in the 50s, was retired. Until now. We're going to open her up for the first time in decades. <laughs> and nobody knows what we'll find inside. <laughs> I don't think that was necessary, Chris. Oh, that was an old mining machine they were oh. talking about there. Dean and Bazardin spotted that one. We're going to open her up for the first time in decades. Thank you, Dean. <laughs> Okay, right. more water please. Are you okay, Rihanna? I'm gonna get Chris back for that one. Do it. A classic now. And here are some important details on what Countdown's Rachel Riley likes to get up to at the weekend with her family. Are you a barbecue sort of girl? Oh, we absolutely love our barbecue, yeah. And we'll, we'll just cook anything on it. It's amazing, my father-in-law, his favorite thing to do is to spit roast anything. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Rihanna. <laughs> That we was, had an agreement. That was really good. My father and his favourite thing to do is to spit roast anything. Thank you, Rachel. <laughs> right. Okay. More water, please. <laughs> this is getting really good now. We didn't understand him, oh, we did, didn't it's we? It's gone like underneath the shirt. You now. said not on your face. Yes. Has it gone underneath <laughs> your clothes? Rules have changed. Mm, mm -mm. Over to four rooms mm. from earlier in the month now. I always said that show was a lot more interesting than your average antiques programme. I did say that. Tell me what you've both brought with you today. Today we bought a very rare example of a mounted taxidermic Andean condor. It was an opportunity for me to mount one of the rarest birds in the world. <laughs> Straight in the face, Chris. Yes. <laughs> mount one of the rarest birds in the world. I really wish I'd put any mega one. Oh my god. <laughs> I got her again. I hate you <laughs> so much. It's an early refill. Oh my god, your makeup. <laughs> oh no, you've got to go out. Oh my no, I've never seen anyone's makeup run so much. <laughs> Look at her cheeks. I hope you're watching this online. <laughs> Brianna, this wasn't supposed to happen like this. I put too much makeup on this morning. I Next. forgot that I was on. It's okay. Lucky, it's lucky it's a dark room where you go, isn't it? Now, on Thursday with Gemma Kearney, we learnt about rural traditions in the West Country, courtesy of BBC Bristol. Water. Ready? The Grand Goat Flanging, which takes place... <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. What's, what's happening? Don't what worry. was that? Can we, can we continue, please? Continue. Water. <laughs> Water. Let's try and get through I this one. I haven't got any more. Right. Come on, Brian. Oh, <laughs> uh, look. That's so great. <laughs> it's horrible down there. <laughs> Come on. Say? Come on. I'm so wet. Come on. Ready? This has gone wrong. <laughs> Ready? Here we go. BBC Bristol. The Grand Goat Flanging, which takes place in Never Stowey, last Monday of August. The goat flangers dress in furry goat capes and sport goatee beards as they dance around the nanny and perform the time-honoured practice of kicking up the billy. <laughs> <laughs> now, several Bristolians have been on. They've never heard of that practice. They don't know what it is. Oh. The time-honoured practice of kicking up the billy. Okay, so this weekend's athletics coverage now. <laughs> We're still on. Oh, why are we still on? Oh, wow. <laughs> I'm enjoying it. <laughs> I'm blinded. Colin Jackson now. Okay. Suddenly, mm -hmm. water there. Colin here on the athletics asking quite a personal question all of a sudden of one of the athletes. John, so when you have a, a, a single competitor like Karani to, to focus on, how difficult is that when it comes to major championships and then when they're inside you? <laughs> <laughs> Nola from Leeds was taken aback by that one. <laughs> In what context is that right? Right then. Oh, 
<laughs> Brianna. Are we done? No. <laughs> Two more. Oh, no. There's Greg. <laughs> There's Greg. Hi, Greg. Uh-huh. This is what you get for Moonlight's another show. <laughs> you don't do this. Look at the state ever. Wow, the look state. at those. Yeah. The state of her. Wow. What? what? Those two idiots there. <sighs> Over to... <laughs> what a such an idiot. I don't understand. Right. <laughs> Over to a contestant on Channel 4's Come Dine With Me Now. And here is a top tip to avoid a very common problem. Right, I'm putting on gloves just purely because I can't stand the smell of fish on my fingers. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Kay emailed that one oh, in. Wow. And finally, a classic from Fern Cotter. But I won't take any water. You can have a free shot. Mm-hmm. You deserve it. Mm-hmm. Fern Cotton here. He's back on Radio 1 next week. Here's Fern getting a bit overexcited by one of the competitions on her show. Now, today's prize is... This is so good that I would... I'm almost tempted to enter myself. (laughs) (laughs) There we go. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Feels good, doesn't it? (laughs) Thanks, Rihanna. Sorry you're so wet. Oh, Oh, no. Good job. Really, really good. Thank you.